hello students so yes a lot of people have been waiting for this day so today the mba mca mtech the fee structure for the colleges has been released and the option entry is just a step away so just wait for it and uh, what is mentioned over here in this note i will just briefly explain it so that the confusions aren't there and what is the fee mentioned over here what is the 20000 what is the 57000 should i be paying extra or is it the only fee a lot of queries has been raised so i will try to clarify most of the doubts and explain you what is mentioned over here for those people who are having issues i have also converted the sheet into english and i have just kept it i'll just pin it in the description below you can go through it whenever you want okay that is one and uh, yes in last video also some mention like speak in kannada okay maatartini en problem illa so idralli en information aakidare ella explain maartini okay na so this is video this video is certainly based for all dimensional people if they having any query so that they have a uh, proper understanding okay so that's reason i just tend to speak in english so it's not like i'm just biased or something so it's just that way fine so yes so let us see what is mentioned in this given document okay let me take the english version of it so that it becomes much more easy now this is the notification for mba mca and mtech okay for the selection of seats and the fees which needs to be paid for the colleges or the fees that needs to be paid for the ka for the admission process okay very clear for the ka for the admission process now last time you had seen the video regarding the seat matrix where for the government colleges government aided colleges and for the private colleges how the seat distribution was done okay now the similar thing is mentioned over here mba in all private unaided institutions and academic for the 2023 2024 50% of the total number of students admitted for the post graduate will be fixed through online centralized counseling conducted by ka on the merit of pg cet examination or kmat examination okay for the similar thing has been mentioned for mca and the similar thing has been mentioned for me and mtech also now here is the given fees of rupees 20000 which is to be given to ka for the government or universities government or universities under the government aided institutions okay so this is around 20000 which you need to pay for the ka and if it is a private unaided institution the fees is going to be around 57750 this is for both mba and mca for mtech it is around 69 and here for mba and mca it is around 20 and for mtech is also 20 sir does this mean that this is the only fee that i need to pay to the college and i shouldn't be paying anything else no it's not that way so this is only the fee that you will be paying to the ka for confirmation of the seat and booking it post this a confirmation email will be coming to you with which you can approach the college and the college will be fixing a tuition fee there that additional fee you need to pay it to them okay that we do not know what is the fee how much is it it depends from college to college it is absolutely in their hand so we cannot decide anything on it this is the only fee that you are going to pay to the ka sir is it like additionally i have to pay yes there will be an additional amount that you need to pay so it i don't know the number what it comes across so it might be somewhere around a lakh okay it might be okay just an hypothetical thing i am telling so it might be lesser it might be more so it depends from college to college whatever you choose now apart from these apart from these you will be having the vtu registration and the other fees per student that needs to be collected at the college 
when you go to the college and you enroll over there you need to pay an additional fee of 10810 for karnataka mba mca mtech students this is one time registration fee okay and for the non karnataka students you need to pay around 12310 and the split up they are giving over given it over here the similar way this also mentioned over here for the colleges at davangere vidwa divisions belagavi mysuru kalburgi all these colleges what is the fee it is almost the same amount 10810 it doesn't change so this is a vtu registration fee per student that needs to be paid at the college level so along with it 57 you will be paying this 10810 and around like 68 69 and if it is a government aided college then it will be something like 20000 plus this 10810 if you are a karnataka student if you are a non karnataka student you need to pay 12310 apart from these amounts an additional tuition fee will be collected at the colleges which is not mentioned over here this is only the kea fees all these are only the kea fees that you need to pay okay i think and i hope the information given over here is clear okay in a very crisp way i have just mentioned it detailed one you can just read it through whatever is given over here and you can go through it i'll just pin both the files on the comment and also in the description you can look into it and you can check it out apart from it if you are having any other queries or if you want to know um anything regarding the documents or something you can just watch the earlier videos which will help you through if in case if you are preparing for the pgct the upcoming year for 2024 yes we do offer training so in case if you are interested you can fill up a form which is available below our team will get in contact with you okay so yes hope this information is clear to you and uh, we will soon get back in another video until then take care bye bye if in case if you are coming for the first time to the channel please do like share and subscribe the video so that uh, we will be encouraged to do a lot more videos okay thank you very much take care bye bye see ya